<laughs> I'm serious. I'm dead serious. I've been um, obviously, you know, my boy uh, sends me message, man. Are you, are you are you on this? Are you on this tea food craziness right now? Like, do a video on tea food. I'm like, you know what? I will do a video on tea food, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about what you guys want me to talk about. Here's the thing, guys. I want my channel to be able to give you something that you can use in your life that will be positive. Now you're not videos for me, I will never do. Here's why. Going through what I go through when it comes to my mental health, there are some exercises and practices we do to help us stay in the moment and to control this thing here. One thing is, is being able to understand the difference between judgments and facts. What are judgments and what are facts? Well, here's a judgment. Prime example. I was at work last week and um, I was with another, uh, another one of the employees there and he's like, hey man, so-and-so looks pissed. And I'm like, oh, well, let's go find out what's up. And we walk up to her and I'm like, hey, what's going on? And literally, she wasn't pissed at all. She was literally confused about something her client said to her that made her think. She had one of these faces like, you know, it was kind of like bunched up. So what we do as human beings is we create judgments. Judgments based solely on what we see. That's it. What I see here is what I start to think. I start to filter. I look at something, I'm like, he looks angry. He looks pissed. He looks happy. He looks sad. She looks excited. She looks, those are all judgments based on solely what I'm seeing. What are the facts? Well, the facts were, in this you know, example was, that her client says something to her that made her really think. Those are the facts. So she wasn't mad, she wasn't upset, she wasn't anything that my friend thought she was. And that's what I wanna do nighting off freaking videos. Why? Because I can't, I'm not gonna waste my time trying to find out if somebody is doing something based on a freaking picture. A picture. Number two, I have a business, I have a family, I have a career, bodybuilder, I do a lot of things. And one of those things on my priority list is not to find out if a gamer is taking steroids or he's not. Here's what I want my channel to do. I want my channel to praise guys like Turner. Like literally. Like the dude's a gamer, right? My best friend's little brother's a gamer. My best friend growing up had every single system to begin with. It would be like, you want to play Nintendo 64, play GameCube, PS4, Xbox One. So I get it. But the biggest thing was, his little brother was playing not do anything. He just sit there and all day and, and he's a gamer. He's like literally, he's, got, he's a gamer, he's on Twitch and he plays. Eh. This guy, Turner, Tifu. Tifu, I'm, I'm clapping for you. You got your ass up, took your platform, the things you've done in your life, and you have bought yourself a $100,000 gym. I'm, I'm going to do nothing but praise Tifu. All I'm going to do to you is say, yo, good for you for starting some kind of, maybe a revolution, something for gamers. I know a lot of people who have kids, the biggest problem is I don't want my kids playing those video games, they don't do anything, they just sit down and just play the video games. I can't have them do that, they gotta, I wish they'd go outside and play it before. Well, guess what happens? Tifu goes and says, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy myself a gym and I'm gonna get myself in some shape. And then gets himself in shape. And then there's, is he natural? Is he, is he on steroids? What's he doing? We gotta know. Yo, who cares? Who cares? I don't give a rat's what he's doing. All I know is that his career involves sitting down and the most moving he's doing is from here doing this. Boom, or whatever. Like he's moving, but he's sitting. He's sedentary. He's not doing, he's not moving much. He's probably moving just as much as maybe somebody at, you know, um, a graphic designer or whatever. Either way, he's got a job he's sitting down. And when the guy gets up and trains and now he looks good, we have to make a judgment based on a picture? Come on, yo. Here's another thing too. I will never, ever, ever try to climb myself up 
in this YouTube world by making judgments on somebody. Yes, my whole life, and there, you see, like, when I was 21 years old, my whole life, I looked similar to this in versions of age. Not as drastic as this, but I've always been in shape. And then when I got a little older, a little more mature, my voice got deeper, my balls got a little, you know, lower and stuff, I got a little naturally bigger. And then someone would always tell me I'm on steroids. And I would be extremely offended for a bit. And then I was like, hey, man, you know what? I started being like, thank you. Thanks. This is like way before YouTube. Like, oh, you're on, you guys, you, you taking something? I'm like, no, I'm not taking anything. I have no clue how to get it and I can't even afford it. But thank you. As cool as that might feel or as much as we want to put a spin and be like, hey, if someone thinks you're on steroids, that's a good thing. It's like, no, not if you're not on steroids. It's not. No matter what we want to think or say, there's going to be a large variety of people out there who do not like steroids. There is a huge negative connotation when it comes to steroids. I am very open about using anabolics. Very open. I'm a professional bodybuilder. Let's be serious. I still know it's a taboo topic to talk about what I do. Sometimes it's something that needs to be talked about behind closed doors, something not to be broadcast to everybody. The only reason why I talk about anabolics is to educate, to help people not do stupid shit. So there's still a crazy negative connotation when it comes to saying somebody's on something when they might not be on it. So I will never, you'll never catch me trying to get subscribers and likes by saying, mm, I think that guy's natural. Maybe he's not, I don't know, I saw a picture. And this picture says he's says he's not natural, but this picture says he is 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 natural. But, but how do you know? How do you know genetics? Here's another thing. From all those said people online who do not or not videos, and I'm not trying to yo do you. That's awesome. That's your thing. That's cool. It's not my thing. I'm a coach. I'm a strength and conditioning coach, and I'm in the gym every single day. I coach people with great genetics, and I coach people with terrible genetics. I've coached people with great genetics and I've seen six months of transformations that you would never believe. Trust me, I got a girl right here, Melissa. She started training with me last June. She has dropped so much weight. I didn't want, she's almost dropped 100 pounds since we've been training together. Not only has she dropped 100 pounds, she's gotten stronger, she's gotten more flexible, she's not hungry, she's satiated, and she's still dropping weight. Is she using anything? I asked her the day, I'm like, have you at least been maybe using a fat burner or anything like that? Like caffeine or... She's like, nope. I'm like, amazing. Amazing. You haven't even tapped into it yet. And that's on me. I knew the answer because I'm going to prescribe her what she's doing. I give her a training plan. I give her a diet plan. And she does a check with me. I can mention 20 other people that I've coached that are in their 20s that have made crazy transformations in a short period of time. If I've never picked a weight up before and I finally go and start working out and I have great genetics, my family has good genetics and I start eating right, I start eating, period, right? You gotta think about this. Think about a gamer who doesn't work out, who sits down, who obviously probably has pretty good genetics seeing what he looks like. And then one day he's like, you know what? I want to work out because like seems like muscles are actually pretty cool. So I want to work out and get some muscle. So when I'm playing, maybe I could put like a tank top on and get some more, you know, pictures and stuff. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry, Turner. I know you don't talk about that, but let's just say oh, I want to work out. So it goes to get his gym and starts working out. What do you think is gonna happen? If I have a full like 180 in my life, and I go from not doing squat all probably eating, say, maybe once or twice a day, because I'm gaming all day long, and then I decide to eat every two to three hours. Eat more, you know, protein meals, more calorie-dense things. And then I start working out five, six times a week, because in my 20s, then I got all this energy, and I got all those natural testings in my body. I'm going to give anybody the benefit of the doubt that these probably, I don't know, I don't know, but I don't really care. The thing is, I don't care. That's the problem. That's the thing. Like, I'm not gonna sit. 
as a grown ass man and talk about some 20 year old kid if he's natty or not. <sighs> who cares? I want to praise those who are doing what Turner is actually doing. Turner is taking a sport that requires not much physical strength or cardiovascular energy. It doesn't take that much because you're sitting down. It's not like he's a gamer where you gotta ride a bike the whole time and play. That would be a lot different. He's sitting down and he decides to get up and train. You know how many other guys and girls who are gamers are gonna start doing the same thing? The guy might be starting a movement and all people are focusing on is whether he's natural or not. Let's just say he's not natural. Who cares? You still gotta work. I'm not natural. You see me? Nope, no natty here, not even close. You don't think I work my ass off every day? You think I just pick up a ball of test, stick it under a bench, and be like, all right, man, give me uh, eight to 10 reps, go. Nice, thanks, thanks for that muscle. Thank you very much. I did nothing today. I had my bottle of test sit there and bench for me. Look at my chest. How stupid that sounds. Applaud the work ethic. How it was done. You don't know, I don't know. So I don't care. All I see is a gamer who was sitting down and skinny to a gamer who was in awesome shape, moving around, and still doing what he loves to do. He added in an element to his life that made it better, and all we should be doing is saying, way to do it, way to go, bro. Way to make other gamers out there get off their butts. If I was a, if I was a parent, I am a parent. If, I, if, if my daughter was old enough and she was playing video games, I'd be like, hey, play with video games, but look at yo, look at, look at Tifu, he's working out too, so, uh, you know, when you're done playing his video games, say, uh, come to the gym and work out, you know what I'm saying? Like, parents should be thanking Tifu for getting out of his own gym and, like, telling these kids who are sitting down on their butts but playing a video game, or maybe they're, they're, they're aspiring to be professional gamers. He's gonna get some kids to get off their butts and work out. So... I would rather focus on praising the guy for getting off his butt and training his ass off. Because he's obviously training his ass off when he's a gamer. The dudes that got millions of followers, subscribers, he's, he's obviously doing good because he's buying us a $100,000 gym for himself. That take, yo, come on. Come on, y'all are haters out there. You're going to tell me that a, a, a young kid who's a gamer, who's made it, who's made a career out of doing what he loves to do, To adding in, hey, he had the he had the the sense to say, I need to stay in shape. I want to be in shape. Maybe he just want to be look better. Maybe he just want. Maybe he's like, I don't like the way I look right now. I want to change the way I look. So I'm gonna go get myself a gym. And I'm gonna get myself into work. I'm gonna work my butt off so I can look the way I want to look. Maybe Tifu is just like everybody who comes to getting in shape and just wants to look good naked. Leave the dude alone. Who cares what he's doing? Who cares what he might be using or might not be using? If you don't know, don't speculate. Who cares? I don't care. And if you're a natty or not person who likes natty not videos and whatnot, yo, go do that. That's all you. You do that. But I will not, on this channel, climb the ranks on making judgments. Why? Because I'm practicing my day-to-day -day life to not do that. That's a, that's a big thing when it comes to my mental health, is to not make judgments. Because when I make judgments, it makes my brain go into a different place I don't want it to go. My life has to be equal in all facets. I cannot have one part try to do this and the other part try to, it has to be on the same page. So. I'm not going to place judgment outside and I'm not going to place judgment in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to praise those who are using their platform for good and positivity. I think it's absolutely outstanding what the dude is doing. I think that's, that's going to speak volumes. I hope that a bunch of other gamers out there are watching him and being like, yo man, Tifu's my, my, my role model, man. He's, he's buffing in shape. He looks good. I didn't know that gamers could look like that. Yo!
Good for you, Tifu. Good for you. So guys, I'm sorry to disappoint. You're not gonna hear from me whether I think Tifu is natty or not. What I do care is that the dude is using his platform for good. This guy is gonna change lives. This guy is gonna change the face and look of a sport that doesn't really look too much on what something looks like physically. I mean, it's a gaming sport. You're watching a game and someone from here to here. It's basically what you're doing. So, yo, Tifu, keep up the good work. Keep getting swole. Keep getting in shape. Keep spreading that fitness love. And hey, you got a new fan. You got a new follower. Guys, subscribe to my channel. Hope you like the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so next time I post a video, the first ones to get it. Also, for coaching, hardcore.training02 at gmail.com. And again, guys, don't worry about judging anybody, man. Just do you. Do you worry about you and keep dream chasing. Peace.